Hello and welcome to the behind the scenes vlog for a short film titled Subprime. It's a student college short film that I had the opportunity to gaff for. And if you don't know film terminology, a gaffer is essentially the head lighting technician on set. A gaffer is responsible for lighting a scene and they work directly with the director of photography as well as the director. Think of him as like the boss of the lighting and grip department. So in this vlog, I'll take you into the behind the scenes of how my first experience as a gaffer went and also how a student production runs and how it looks like. We'll start with day zero, which was gear pickup. Stop right! Hold your market set go. Hold it on so long it's on the let go. Flip the script, find the fit for the best role. If you ready, baby, let's roll. You got what I want, I got what you need. Star player like she playing for the lead. Garen's my uh, is, key grip. Oh, well, this is a gear pickup for Supreme. We got the camera team working hard, checking the cases. Uh, we're about to pick up all the stands and the lights. Oh, nice. Are you packing the van right now? We're packing so nice. the van. Gonna hold, but yeah, ain't going nowhere. Uh, you want the sky panels? Like, shoop, shoop. Yeah. nice wide. Alrighty, just left. The Sheridan equipment room, my camera's sliding down. But I am driving the truck home. It's my first time gaffing, I'm very excited and very grateful that I get to try this out with all this cool gear. Kieran, oh, day one of Subprime. Day one of Subprime. How are we feeling? It's a little early. <laughs> We're early, it's like 1 p.m. No, but it's early, it's early for the call time. So the camera and G&E team are here four hours earlier, like Kieran said, to help start setting up. We're gonna take out all the gear from the truck, organize it, and then start setting up. our first setup we knew that it was gonna rain later into the night so the first objective was to set up these tarps to protect the lights from any rain because scene two has a light by where your um, living room is and by the kitchen so there will be a light in the backyard all day today so we'll, so we'll get a tarp there yeah so what <laughs> if we for the backyard build like use four light stands have two higher and two lower so it's like a like a roof mm -hmm. Just for the backyard, and then use a floppy for the kitchen. Sure. Because there's no diffusion there. Sure. <laughs> I'm filming. How do I look? How do I like my? Uh, oh, you look like a director. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to day one of Subprime. And the first setup of the day 
it was a night scene. So our director of photography, Samuel Parnahaj, wanted nice soft moonlight coming in through all the windows in the room, as well as a nice overhead, soft, uh, warm light lighting up our actors from above. put some aperture B7C bulbs into the actual practical lens within the scene so that I could control them all on my iPad on the Citus Link app. It's a great app. I also used two magnets to magnetize two aperture MT Pros to these kind of cupboards in the kitchen and set them to a really nice grungy kind of teal color. And I uh, just used these circular magnets off of Amazon, taped them to the actual wooden panel, and then you can just magnetize your lights and cut. That was good. I like that, Ilya. So later into the day, we had a dinner scene, and uh, pretty much what we did is we just took the overhead light that we had, the Ameren F22C, and we kind of just swung it over the table. Uh, so we had it boomed directly over the table, lighting our actors from, the, from, the, from above. And we also made sure to add as many practicals in the background as possible to create depth and just kind of create pools of light in the background so that it's not just darkness. So, uh, Michael's using this boom clamp. It's called the Westcott boom clamp. It's mine. <laughs> Holds 258 pounds. It's fucking sick though. That's just a C-stand column. $39. So we have the 300C here. It has a spotlight attachment. It's hitting our window here. It's creating some nice texture through the blinds. And this is just kind of bringing the ambience up in the room. Underneath our little tent here, we've got the orbiter. It is set to the same color temperature as all our other lights. We're faking moonlight by switching our lights to 6500 Kelvin. We've also lowered the Kelvin on our camera, so all the lights that are coming into the windows seem a little bit cooler. End of the night, we just wrapped day one. Now sleep well. Okay. Feeling good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't look good. We kind of left everything a mess yesterday, so our first task is to organize everything and have it on standby. Yeah, I had a smile. I was just, it was an awesome day. Super excited um, coming into day two, so thanks for being here as well. Subprime! Subprime! Day two of Subprime, we probably started off with my favorite lighting setup the whole, throughout the whole shoot. First thing we did was we set up the Elliposaurial Source 4. It's kind of like a stage Leco light. And uh, that was just a light ray coming in through the windows, kind of creating light rays. So when you add some haze, you can kind of see the volumetric light. And this was warm light that was coming in because we were trying to create kind of like a golden hour look. We also had the 300C coming in through this window, uh, giving us some really nice texture uh, on the inside furniture. But other than that, it's just a bunch of practicals inside. We're gonna put the B7C bulbs back in. We're gonna have the MT Pros and I'm gonna connect them all on my iPad so I can control them. 
and then um, we're just boom the Amaran F22C light mat over uh, the counter again so that we get that top head key light. I don't know about this 300C though. Like, no, yeah. I feel like it'll be better when it starts. But right now, does it go any higher? I would, I would put it higher, and I'd maybe take a step back so that it floods the window more. So right now we're using this Source 4 as kind of like a hard uh, golden hour light, but we're gonna use the sky panel over here. We changed our mind. We are gonna in fact see that window. So we just need to add some more warm fill coming in through that window, so we're going to set that up. Very quickly realized that just those two lights weren't enough, so we were forced to add a third light out here. So we have a 200X going into a lantern. All three of these lights are hitting the whole wall here, so that's giving us that fake sunlight that we have inside. Mind you, while we were filming this shot, it was completely dark outside. So I'm very proud of how our night for day setup came out. Michael. What color tent did you put on the sky panel? 65. Perfect. When we moved on to the next scene, we needed moonlight coming in through all the windows once again. So we added a second sky panel. So we had one sky panel for each window. We switched all the exterior lights to moonlight. And I think this gave us this really creepy, kind of almost horror thriller look. We also had some practicals that were warm. In this, in this scene, and I think all these shots really follow closely Samuel's original plan in pre-production. Um, yeah, thanks everyone, that's a wrap on day two of Soap Prime. So. <laughs> and the uh, camera went downstairs, so. On day three, we had to do a whole unit move to a completely different location, a completely different house, in order to film this last scene. I think our biggest problem today is the, the strong winds and we're also cranking a light to the second story. We have to get sky panel up to that window. Oh, excited to drop everyone, but uh, that's a wrap on Subprime. Good job. Thank you. And yeah, those were the four pretty much days of production for Subprime. To sum things up, I just wanted to congratulate the whole crew on making this short film happen. Our director, Keaton Browning, uh, co wrote and directed an incredible script and Samuel the cinematographer shot a beautiful film it was honestly such an amazing and fulfilling experience making your lighting plans come to life and uh, big shout out to the rest of the crew on the film it was so enjoyable and it was such a great atmosphere working with all of you guys on set I look forward to working with you all again very soon oh and also before I forget make sure you follow subprime on Instagram 
Uh, you can stay up to date with their updates there. You know, they'll let you know when the film's actually going to come out. And uh, there's probably more BTS content coming out on that Instagram account as well. So make sure you give it a follow. And lastly, thank you for watching. If you like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like to see more. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.